Hey everybody, this video subject is this FSP power supply. This is a Fortron Source FSP 300-60THA parentheses 1. This is an OEM power supply for Acer that come out of an Acer Veritron tower. And the tower itself like, is in really good condition. Everything was good and clean for the most part. And um, I got that Veritron tower from the computer store as a parts machine as a parts only computer for real cheap because it wouldn't post and when you plug in the supply um, well I can't remember if the motherboard itself had an LED but I remember taking this power supply out and plugging it in and multimetering the 5 volt standby rail and we got power on the 5 volt standby rail but you go to try to turn this thing on it would not turn on so let's go ahead and have a look inside this thing see if we can figure out what the problem is Not mistaken, there aren't any bad capacitors in this power supply. This is it's real unusual for a unit like this to just mysteriously quit working. I mean, the power supply itself—it looks like it's practically new. Not mistaken, I think I opened it up not too long ago, just trying to figure out what the problem was. And then again, maybe I didn't because. This right here wasn't messed with. So let's just go ahead and have a look inside this thing. And you know, see if we can find anything. I'll tell you one thing, you're really gonna be surprised when you see the next fit I'm gonna make of a FSP power supply. It's a 400 watt monster. I'll get into that later, but anyways, let's go ahead and get the cover off this unit. Almost there, got one more screw to go. Came off quite easy. This power supply. Um it's built really well. Let's have a look here. FSP units are usually built very well. Here's our AC input plug and we have an X capacitor. It's actually stuck to the fan. I feel sorry for anybody who had to replace a fan because you had more an extra obstacle to overcome, but these um, Fortron units usually come with ball bearing fans, so the fans usually don't ever quit. Here's a look from the other side. I don't see any bad capacitors or nothing. Um, let me go and grab my flashlight, wherever it is, so I can really give a good look. Okay. Just have a look here inside this thing. I'm telling you, the power supply looks like it's practically new. No burn marks. No bulging or leaking capacitors. Heck, the thing doesn't even have any um, appearances of having heat stress or nothing. It just looks like it just come out of the box. It's a little, maybe a little bit of surface dust here and there, but it looks like it's brand new. The Acer sticker on it said um, December 2005, so it is about seven years old. Well, six years old for that matter. I mean this thing looks perfectly fine. Well like I say when you go, you go to start it up it does not start. It has a Fairchild DM311 5 volt standby controller. I've looked up online about Bestec HTX 2 12 e power supplies and people were actually fixing those power supplies using this particular IC. The Fairchild I see. But um I guess for this matter, all I can say is what do y'all think about this thing? Because I mean 
I don't see any bad capacitors in it. I, I mean, this thing does have some TPOs in it, which some kind, sometimes that can be the problem. It has actually, um, let's see, there is TPO, there is um, Jamicon, and an OST right there. I mean, that's one thing about FSP is um, they kind of grab their parts like it's like they grab miscellaneous items off the shelf when they build their power supplies because you can find all sorts of different brands of components inside their units particularly when it comes to capacitors what do you think about this thing it's kind of unusual give me your feedback